And naturally, we don't do any of this by ourselves. The leader is the leader of people, right? And in order to bring out the human element, there's two practices that are where the focus is. The first is to enable others to act. That is, how do we make other people more powerful? The job of the leader is to create more leaders, right? Create more leadership in other people, and we do that by fostering collaboration, building trust, building relationships. As we said, it's all about people and relationships, that's already out. Also, to enable others, we strengthen others by increasing their self-determination and developing their competence. We, our job as leaders is to make the people around us better than we are at whatever it is that they do. Not only does that keep people in the organization, of course, because learning and development are key drivers of uh, career success, it also, of course, makes the organization smarter. This notion that the leader hoards information and uses his people as pawns is probably, maybe we could just put that to rest, right? Okay, really interesting we start discussing generational difference around these things, which will come up when we talk about enabling tomorrow. Anyway, um, here's John Sanford. He was a U.S. Army two-star general who then became the, the uh, superintendent of the Seattle school system. He passed away a few years ago, but he was an extraordinary military leader and um, civic leader, and I love this quote from him. He's essentially saying, we don't get our power from our position, we get our power from people. We get power in the sense of getting the ability to get things done, to, to implement that vision, to change the things that need to be changed, to address the issues that have to be addressed. We get that by somehow motivating people or creating the, the circumstances wherein people feel motivated, feel connected. Do you agree? I mean, you, you can probably think, I bet you can think of somebody in your career who has been excellent at this. And I have a suggestion, if that person's still around, go take them out to lunch and ask them, how do you do that? How do you think about people and bring the best out of people? Because, first of all, I guarantee, <coughs> I predict, they'll be really pleased that you asked them. And especially when you pick up the lunch tab as well. <laughs> but they'll also tell you an interesting story about how they came to understand that their job as leaders was about the people around them and not about them. Okay, and we're all going to tell those stories when we leave here this week as well because it's true for us. We already know this. Um, okay.